There you go. Now we're back. So one thing I want to check on, I want to check on the, the king quickly. The, the throne room. I don't remember if I checked back on that. Not this way. It's the same customers in here, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's been about three weeks since I last recorded. I had a, I had like a proper summer break for the first time in a long time. The king was mauled by Garula. His Majesty's wrestling was. Yeah, I remember that. I'm pretty sure he didn't have anything to say, but yeah. What about his little groupies here, Princess Lena? Now that you found your wind drake, perhaps you should return to Tycoon. Everyone must be worried sick. Hmm. Yeah, that's something I should do, actually. That's a good idea. Okay. So it's a little bit of a kind of tying up loose end start to this particular session, but it's all useful stuff, I think. Again, especially with these earlier Final Fantasies, they really do leave things much more open for you to potentially miss or do in a different order or do at weird times. So, um, what was the deal here? I gotta remember how to even get to Tycoon. Um, yeah, I don't have a clue. I'm gonna have to go around a few places here and just see. Okay, I quickly look this one up so I don't literally spend like half an hour randomly roaming around. And Tycoon is over here, somewhere. Yeah, it's towards this side. It's a little south of Walls. There it is, I think that's the one. Yes. So there's a meteor, we can fly above that, and we can return to the castle. So yeah, again, probably a good idea. Just wanna see what kind of stuff we can encounter here. Is this gonna be super low level stuff? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, even 135 kills it. Okay, let's go in. Castle Tycoon. Thank heavens you're back safe. The Chancellor wishes to speak with you. Very well. Princess Lena. Why don't we have Lena um, take charge here? There we go. Okay, everyone's saying the same thing. Okay, they're not letting me do my else, it's just... Princess Lena or the Chancellor wants to speak with you. So let's speak to the Chancellor first. Princess Lena! Forgive me. I didn't mean to worry you. No need to fret about that now. But please, you must return to the palace. Our guard has been severely weakened by monster raids but there is no way we can recover without our princess. I'm sorry, I cannot stay. Princess, you have a responsibility to this kingdom. Yes, but more importantly, I have a responsibility to the world. Right now, we are all in danger. 
What's more, father is still alive, and I... I understand. Princess Lena, we will protect the kingdom. I swear it. And I swear to return and bring father back. Until that time, please hold things together here. For now, would you at least stay the night? Certainly. Ah, will this be one of these like nighttime flashback memory sort of vibes? Hopefully. Yeah, this is a scene. Mm, the two pink-haired girls. Faris? Hmm? Ah, oh, Lena. It's late. You should be in bed. So should you, sister. Da -da -ding. I'm right, aren't I? You're my older sister. Wh what are you going on about? Me? You're... That's daft. But... Besides, a buccaneer like me, really a prince, a uh, princess... Tis a bit much, that. <laughs> but your pendant. Yeah, I mean, I can't say that was like a huge sort of revelation. I'm sure it, pretty much everyone playing would have guessed that would happen. The Gallif one was definitely more interesting to me. The whole sort of, he's not from this world this situation, but... Um, the Ferris and Lena one was definitely much more telegraphed. Bart? Bart! <laughs> okay. <laughs> what in tarnation are you doing, kid? I think he's a few men short of a full crew. <laughs> yeah, he is a bit of a dopey guy. <laughs> yeah, there are like a few times where Bart's like repeat stuff or ask stuff where I'm like, come on dude, really? <laughs> this little music. Okay, so that was worth returning for. Um, again, it seems like another thing that was missable, I guess. The Chancellor's gone outside. He said he had something for Princess Lena. Maybe it's the Ramu summon. That'd be nice. Oh, the King's Windrake made it! That's wonderful! Once again, there's many rooms and many floors. What in tarnation are you doing, kid? Cottage, nice. Ether, nice. Jenica. I've served in this castle for quite some time. I looked after both Princess Lena and Princess Sarissa. Sarissa? Princess Lena's older sister. Sarissa was sailing with her father when a storm hit and she was lost at sea. Ah, there you go. Sarissa is her name. Sarissa. 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 Who the flip knows? She just called her Sarah. Okay, we picked up a few nice little things there and found out I found out Faris's real name. So it's definitely been worth coming back here. If only Princess Lena would stay here. Should be empty, yeah. Once again, oh wait, did that say Lena's room? I skipped it quick. Yeah.
King's Chamber. This is the King's Chamber. No one is permitted to enter. But not even Lena? What the flip? But Father... Again, at this stage, I've forgotten where to even go in the story. So we got the ship working thanks to Sid and Mid. And then we were on the hunt for the, the final crystal, I believe. Wow. Picked up a lot of goodies here. We've got some goodies today. It's one of those things where you get so used to it when something doesn't give you something, you feel very entitled. You're like, how dare you? Fifth floor. Windrake Tower. Okay. You can even go in here. <laughs> Okay, so I think I've explored pretty much all of the castle now. Definitely picked up a few things though. We're up to 11 elixirs, interestingly enough. I've only got three high potions and 11 elixirs at this stage. Wow. How many ethers did I have? 11. Okay, pretty healthy supplies here. Okay, so the Chancellor had something that he wanted to give me, I think. Hmm. Where is he then? Um. <laughs> Again, it's pretty mazy. I made it to the storehouse. Well, there you go. <laughs> the more I stumble across these kind of things, the more I think there's got to be stuff that I've missed. Yeah, I should have kept this on while I was in the castle. Ah, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> I found it by luck anyway. Oh, is that that's where he was? Ashura. That's a nice sword, usually. Yeah, none of these guys are going to be able to use it. Sure again. Could definitely use that. Princess, this staff has been kept in your family for generations. Take it. I'm sure you can find it of use. Thank you. Thank you, Chancellor. Wasn't quite a summon, but this is also good. Diamond Bell. Nice. Can she even equip it? Of course you can't. <laughs> uh Hold on. Demons hate the sound of his chime. Full power from the back row. Hmm. I mean, which job can even equip the bell? Let's have a look. Have to be a geomancer to equip a bell, really? Hmm. I mean, just for sake of trying, I mean, we haven't tried geomancer at all, so just to see it, I mean, it might be worth it. And we'll keep the the red magic for versatility at the moment, and we'll keep her diamond bell too. So once again, I mean, it's, it's a perfect example of old school Final Fantasy where literally the game tells you the Chancellor is waiting to give you something. And you, you look around the castle in all the usual places and the Chancellor's not there. You'd assume if the Chancellor's waiting for you before you leave to give you something, that he would be waiting, like, here somewhere. Like, you know, this is where you'd expect him to be and he's not. So is, there's a good chance that you might not even be able to find him if you're not exploring rigorously enough. So... 
it really is that double-edged sword. It feels more rewarding when you find things for sure. And there's always that sort of thrill of, um, of discovery and exploration, but there's a lot more scope for, for missing things that are probably useful. And sometimes it's a little bit more tedious and difficult than it really needs to be. But so far, I think it's been good. But I have to admit that some of the stuff that we've that you've seen in this session so far, I would not have been able to get if it was a totally blind run. Okay, let's get into a battle or two here. Let's see. Just want to see the Geomancer move. Three nine two. What the flip? The enemy is under your control. Yeah, we definitely got a lot of tricks up our sleeve now. Two, five, three. Okay, I mean, it seems interesting enough. Right then. Okay. I think for now, um, we can carry on. I don't have that the summon where I have a gap at the moment, but I mean that leads me to think that I should have it, but for now I'll just I'll keep going and see what I can find. Where was my ship? I seem to remember warping over using a meteorite. I think that's what I did. So let's do that to get back to where the ship is most likely. Force me to right. Right, let's try it. It's probably one of these games that doesn't lend itself well to any kind of break. If you're at one of those kind of stages of the game where you need to go somewhere but it's not super clear where that place is. Right, where did I end up? Okay. Okay, it's been a while since we fought these guys. Let's try that Geomancer move again. It seems a bit randomized. Let's try and control the zoo. I don't know what the percentage chance of control working is. Yeah, everything's still dying too quickly for me to control it, but... Okay, wanted to drop a quick save before continuing on. Um... I don't think there's a way up here, right? At this stage, I think all-out attack is probably still best because these guys are pretty easy.
Yeah, the Geomancer seems cool enough, but it's it's a bit unpredictable, so I'm not sure I like it as a as a proposition. I mean, when you get the right one, of course, it works nicely, but I don't know. Is there a way through to this bit in the top corner? Maybe? Earthquake, yes. Okay, when that happens, that's pretty cool. Hmm, yeah, it won't let me through here. So I'm not sure how you get to that particular place right in the corner. I guess you have to sail. Um... I don't think it's particularly worth it for Lena. So what I'm going to do actually with Lena is I think Black Mage is the one that gets Osmos. So maybe from here on out I should focus on um, Black Mage. And then maybe if I know a boss battle's coming then switch to Summon. Otherwise keep... Uh, well, I guess if she's already got Black she doesn't need the White. Uh, she doesn't need that. It's better to just use this. Just cover both. Right, let's go. This one, because there's five individuals, it just takes ages. Forget that. You get the idea. One thing I will do... Yeah, I mean, Gallop has the, has the grey hair anyway, so suits him. Right, that's what we were doing. Now, the question is, of course, oh, okay, Sir Hoggins, wow. Throw a quick Libra, let's see what kind of levels we're talking here. Okay, we're level 17, so I think we're generally matched okay here. Vulnerable to lightning. Ooh. Yeah, we'll have to see how we do with, like, the success rate of control. So, how does Thundara do against all of them? Pretty well. We haven't literally controlled an enemy yet. I mean, is it indefinite? Again, if, as long as I don't, if I don't hit it physically, maybe like nothing else happens and it's fine. There you go. Attack special technique, goblin punch. Yeah, I think this is a blue mage thing that can be learned. Yeah, my stealing still sucks. The special technique did nothing. 
Ah, there you go. So yeah, I think he can learn Goblin Punch. But like I say, we need that whole um, control thing. It's coming soon. Bart's is, is working on it. And by that time, Gallif would have made some White Mage progress too. So he'll be okay. And I think this place down here was the Library of the Ancients. And you can get a free uh, HP and MP boost here. And both Sid and Mid are down here too. So let's quickly grab that free replenishment. Have a quick chat with these guys, see if they've got anything new. I've been tearing through these books, but I can't find a thing about the Earth Crystal. Not a darn thing. Can't find a thing, not a darn thing. Hey, I heard myself the first time. <laughs> yeah, okay, they're not doing too great. Um, do you reckon these guys could give clues? Still, like the scholars around them. Hmm, I doubt it. If those two don't have it, I, I think the game doesn't want you to know. It wants you to figure it out yourself. Fine by me. So we've got a little island here. Closing in. Hmm. So it must be somewhere that you end up like teleporting out of because obviously it's or you or you need an airship to fly in. You can't just. Um, oh. Gold needle. There you go. A steel's a steel. HP 25. Interesting. Ah. One of those customers. Let's see if the ninja can hit. Yeah, that's why they have 25 HP. Fine. Forcing me to use some of that black magic. Dodge that. Okay, that didn't work. Um... There's not too much more I can do here. Thankfully, they're not very damaging. I'm going to try a different element. Oh, there you go. They're just super evasive, I guess. Control so far is looking like about 30% or so. There you go. All it takes is one hit. I guess you just gotta stick to it. Okay. Gallop's a level 2 white mage now. It's one of these things where I'm pretty much gonna make everybody know um, white mage stuff up until a certain point. So, just to check where he's at, let's... Yeah, so I think he needs level 3 to be able to do that. So I'm going to keep him as a white mage for that reason. Push him to level 3. And we'll get learning back on him. Finally, the HP is starting to look a bit better, though. Uh, up above 400 and 500s. I mean, I think there's literally only one place I can really travel to right now, anyway. Well, okay, maybe not true. But I'm still going to try that bit on the bottom right of the map. The southeast corner. Didn't get a successful steal from them. Only a potion, really? Come on.
We're not going to waste any more MP on these guys. I'm wondering if Goblin Punch, though, is one of those abilities that they only use if they're, if they're controlled. It might be. But at least I know. So once um, I have a secondary character that has control, I'll be able to make use of it.